Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. Uh, today, once again, I am uh, going to be reacting to a new comedian, uh, Cat William. I have seen some of his stuff, I haven't seen most of it. So, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure if I've seen this clip. It's called Pimp Chronicle Part 1. So, without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Enjoy your motherfucking life. That's all the fuck I'm saying. Enjoy your goddamn life. Life is fucking short. Enjoy that shit. Some of y'all just need to smoke some weed and see if it don't help the quality of your motherfucking life. I know, I see some of y'all. Look, I understand. If you ain't smoking weed because you got a good job, then by all means, make your paper, boo-boo. But if you ain't got no job and you not smoking weed, I don't know what the fuck you are doing with your life. I really don't. I really don't. Don't give me that shit about it's a drug. It ain't no motherfucking drug. I done done the research. It's just a plant. It just grow like that. And if you should happen to set it on fire, <laughs> there are some effects. I haven't but seen that. Not the same as drugs. Drugs, you got to do shit to it chemically. You got to add baking soda, water, stir it up. I don't know the recipe. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's some shit you got to do to it. Well, why the fuck is it illegal? I don't know. Aspirin is perfectly legal, but if you take 13 of them motherfuckers, it'll be your last headache. <laughs> Long as you've been living, you ain't never heard of a motherfucker overdose on marijuana. You might have thought that nigga was dead. He ain't dead. <laughs> He's gonna wake up in 30 minutes hungry enough to eat up everything in your house. That's the side effects. Hungry, happy, sleepy. That's it. <laughs> oh. I wish I could I'm relate. Just saying, I'm just saying, if you, if your life is fucked up, you need weed. Weed is put on this earth for niggas on the struggle, niggas on the grind. There is a chemical in weed that's called fucking. <laughs> and if you could just get that in your system, it could change your life. Some of y'all be crying about bills you can't pay. Just I don't know what I'm gonna do about this light bill. They don't want, they want the whole thing. They don't want a piece of it, a deposit. <laughs> just hit the blunt one time and see if it don't change your perception of what's important in your life. You just I don't know what I'm gonna do about this life. <laughs> Fuck them goddamn lights. <laughs> I got twelve candles. I've been waiting to burn them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. Had to be careful, though. Had to be careful, because weed is getting stronger every two weeks. And these niggas ain't sending out memos or bulletins or nothing. The shit just strong for no reason. And these niggas that sell the weed be happy than a motherfucker <laughs> to tell you how much stronger this shit is than the last shit. Just as soon as they see you, just nigga, 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 nigga. You remember that shit I gave you last week, nigga? It's nothing, nigga. It's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing, nigga. Nigga, it's nothing. This shit right here, nigga. This shit right here, nigga. Right here. This shit, nigga. This shit here, nigga. <laughs> Always have some fucked up name. It's Cryptocrata kind of like, nigga. <laughs> Always had some fucked up ass name. Like, nigga, this shit here, nigga. This shit here, niggas. This shit's called death, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, that don't even sound attractive. What the <laughs> You mean I'm gonna hit it and die, nigga? Is that what? <laughs> no, nigga, not death, nigga, death. You hit this shit twice, nigga, you can't hear shit. All right, death. <laughs> like, nigga, I got shit to do today. What the fuck? Your kids been calling you all day. They're dead. Fucking around with them motherfuckers. I'm used to smoking some weed and getting the munchies. This nigga sold me some shit, had me looking at the refrigerator for three hours. <laughs> I'm just in the kitchen, sitting on the stove. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I bet you it ain't shit in there, nigga. I bet you. All I'm saying is you know the weed is too strong when you can't do shit but hit it and look at it. <laughs> you just in your house, just, mm -mm, nigga, mm -mm, something in there, nigga, something in there. <laughs> well, why is it sparkling then? Why is it sparkling? <laughs> weed will help your motherfucking ass, though. Weed, you have to be careful to you don't smoke weed with dumb niggas because weed make you smart. <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than a smart, dumb nigga. <laughs> Just a nigga at your house smart than a dumb motherfucker just sitting there. Just... 
okay, that's the couch, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can understand why they call it a couch. But this motherfucker here, nigga, this shit right here, nigga, this is a love seat, nigga. <laughs> Loved it. I can't even sit on this if I ain't in love, nigga. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> if you don't get out my motherfucking house, you have to be careful with we. We make you notice shit you ain't supposed to notice. Like, I don't even give a fuck about politics no more because I done figured it out. All of the government is pimps. They all pimps because pimps say shit to you and then don't explain it. That's how our government do it. A pimp will have a woman in the car and be like, get out there and suck some dick. We're going to take over all of Stone Mountain. <laughs> She don't ask no question. She just, I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to do my motherfucking part. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. That's how the fuck our government treat us. Just tell us shit don't make no sense. What the fuck are we still doing in Iraq? Can somebody tell me? Ain't we killed everybody? That's why I love America. We some goddamn bullies. We don't give a shit. We be on CNN like, say our name, bitch. Say it. Say it three <laughs> times. Let's see if we don't come over there and kill everybody. You don't believe we gangsters? Tell me what the Iraqi uniform look like. Don't worry, I'll wait. Because <laughs> you ain't never seen that motherfucker. We ain't killing they army, nigga. We killing them. We over there killing niggas in sweatpants, tank tops, flip-flops, and a cowboy hat. You shouldn't have been talking shit. <laughs> Our government pimps, they get on the news, they act like we ain't even over there killing real people. They don't never get on the news and say today we killed four men, three women, and two children. They use a word niggas can't readily identify. Today we killed a group of insurgents. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be at the house like, I don't even know no motherfucking insurgents. <laughs> you can kill all them motherfuckers. I don't have not one insurgent friend. We to help you notice shit like that, but you gotta be careful with this super strong weed because you can't do everything you regularly do. It's easy to get high. It is not easy to get unhigh when your baby walk in the room. <laughs> now you in the house cleaning up shit that don't need to be cleaned. You... <laughs> is that true? Your baby be like, I don't even want nothing no more. <laughs> Every time it smells like pine, in here. Daddy be tripping. <laughs> you gotta be careful. If you got kids, you're gonna have to cut down on your weed consumption. I don't give a fuck what you say. It's cool to get high. It is not cool to get high and eat up all your baby's cereal. That shit is not cool. <laughs> you wake up your baby already in the kitchen crying. Just, <sighs> <laughs> Thank God you woke up, Daddy. You remember you would put the cocoa pups on top of the refrigerator and now they not even up there. Now you so embarrassed, you gotta play it off with the nigga. You. Nigga, <laughs> 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 that damn show ain't up here. That motherfucking insurgents done come in our houses. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice tie in, man. That was a good tie in. So, that was uh, Cat Williams talking about Reed and Pimp uh, Chronicle Part 1. I will be reacting to Part 2 when I find it because I can't find it at the moment. But still, it was absolute brilliant. I remember, uh, I watched this skit and all of a sudden I remembered, I remember Cat Williams from a scene in a movie where he is chased by Terry Crew, who's recently been released from prison. That's what I remember him. All of a sudden, I don't know what movie it was, but I do know it was one of the Friday movies, and I do remember that. And uh, but still, uh, that was just something that popped in my head while I was watching this. And this whole bit was absolutely brilliant. The thing is, I don't know much what about weed, uh, because I can't handle it. I really cannot handle it, and I don't even like the smell of it. Like literally, just the smell makes me uh, like a bit sick and a bit uncomfortable it's just something i can't do you know what i mean so uh but everything he said was funny it was bang on point it was comedic uh timing it was great everything was brilliant and i'm definitely gonna be doing more cat williams so keep an eye out for that meanwhile if you like this uh if you enjoyed this like subscribe share and leave a comment i'll see you guys next time